Hey all, and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Comms Patreon TV Comms. Today, we're returning to the second season, or second dish, of Food Wars to check out episodes 8 to 10. Now, I know Neo is the co-com these days, but uh, a certain Mr. Volcomar signed a blood pack to finish off Food Wars, so he's here today performing for you. He's not quite a member of the HFC crew, but he'll do it a pinch, I guess. Well, until all the blood drains out my body and then I'm a lifeless husk, then you'll have to reanimate me somehow. <laughs> oh, I have plans for you even when you're not alive, my friend. Oh, jeez. I'm slightly worried about that statement. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> all right, guys, you know the drill. Check the video description if you need syncing instructions. There's also unique metadata in there for each episode to help you find them more easily online. Here we go. Episode 8 of the second play of Food Wars in 3, 2, 1. Swing. Here we go. Swing indeed. Uh, it's a good job they have these um, last time things or interstitials because Lord knows I need them. Well, if I remember correctly, and keep in mind this is several months ago since I watched the last episode of this, I believe we came toward the end of the competition, which resulted in a freeway tie or something along those lines, or they said. We're just going to have you free fight it out and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like how a professional organization would act. Eh, fuck it. You free win. Just just do it. Yeah, so we have a contest between Soma, Rio, and uh, the Curry King, whose the, name I forget. <laughs> the other guy. Oh, He's like Theodore. A little bit. <laughs> From yeah. Alvin and the Chipmunks, who I always thought that someone went, Alvin, Simon, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I really miss this intro, actually. Mm, it's, a, it's a hell of a banger. But then again, we have been spoiled for decent bangers as far as anime openings go over the last year or two. Mm -hmm. Ah, Akira. That was the guy's name. There you go. So ah, Subaru. Remember that guy as well. He is the mimic of the whole crew. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And we have, uh, you know, Dio voicing Dojima. I think that was his name. Yep. Dojima. Don't worry, we'll re-pick up all the names of one as we go. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember most of, like, the main cast in the dorm and what have you. Why are they attacking this giant spirit bomb? We just <laughs> don't know at this point in time. If anything, it's more like Gundams, where all the mobile suits are just giant kitchen knives. Mm-hmm. Hmm, they kind of foreshadowed the free-for-all, for lack of a better word here. Our quest for the golden egg. <laughs> oh, it is an egg. There we go. Alrighty, episode 8, start -o. Hmm? Nice. Yes. Ah, it is a fish shop. Oh, of course she'd like it. She, uh, helped run a fish place back home. Mm-hmm. By the way, number one tip, if you're going out buying fish fresh, always look at the eyes and always look for bright red gills. Mm -hmm. That's how you can assure that it is fresh pretty much just out the ocean. Well, I mean, yeah, the eyes, window to the soul and all that. Yeah, I mean, the gills is another big one as well, because most people don't look at that. If they're discolored, then even if the eyes look all right, that could show sign the fish has aged considerably, or at least not ideally. Well, I mean, yeah, because it's like, you don't want a fish with poor lungs or anything, do you? Not at all. Yes, we're basically following you, I'm going to steal your ideas, and then it's bandana time, and oh, <laughs> you won't like me when I put the bandana on. I like to think they're a tag team, even when it comes to haggling for fish. Rio just puts on the headbands and starts shouting him down to give him the fish for a lower price, and Alice is the one with all the money. Ah, uh, Alice, yes, there we go. Hmm, yes, yes, I'm learning. Ah, yeah, there you go, Vok. The yellow tip's on the mouth I didn't actually know, I will admit. Maybe it's just for this specific fish. Yeah, it's possible. Don't, don't be throwing formulas at me, it's too early for this. It's midday time, I fucking know what time it is. <laughs> you know when they start breaking out the hexagons of the letters, you know they mean medical business. <laughs> yeah. 
There are just some shapes that are more magical than others, and frankly, maths is a uh, a magic far beyond my power, so... Ah, uh, yes, Soma is demonstrating another good sign of a fresh fish. It's rigidity. Yep. The trouble is, sometimes with... I think this is maybe especially true of larger fish. You don't want something that's so stiff, otherwise you'll potentially damage the fish when you're filleting it. You want to have to have a little bit of give, so... Sometimes what they'll do is they'll buy the fish fresh, but allow it a couple of days rest just to loosen it up a bit before they fillet it. Hmm. I'm gonna stab you in the goddamn eyeball <laughs> with this here fish. So we're going for the standard paladin stats. Mm -hmm. Rio going for the devilish rogue sort. Ah, you thought a keyblade was too silly. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Fish blade. Ah, oh, I thought they were still actually going to stab some, each other with the fish. Just like, ha, I stabbed your heart. Mine's fresher. <laughs> Okay, so Megumi is the guinea pig. Um, nom 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 nom. Bit of soy. Okay. Don't think I've had soury before. Hmm. Me neither. I mean. As far as fish experience goes, I've had plenty of cod, I've had plenty of haddock, mm, yeah, yeah. fair bit of tuna. I've tried silverfish once or twice. They're just like really, really tiny fish that usually come deep fried and comes with dip. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, I'm not sure about silverfish because that's the name of bugs you find in the bathroom. Yeah, that always perplexed me for one reason or another. Salmon is probably my favourite fish, honestly. Hmm. Steam salmon is pretty damn good. We have it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, look, I'm tired of this shit. I did the thing with a knife. Can I just go back and go to sleep? Ugh. I am one with the ocean, and now I am not. He's like, I am basically Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everything's different in Japan. <laughs> it's like I stole the sun and now I'm running away. No, I need it. <laughs> no, stop! I need that to live! <laughs> okay, okay. Talk's a big game. Joke's on him because I get the feeling 10 episodes down, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This guy talks a big game, but... Uh... He'll probably lose in the end. I mean, he has every right to do so. Rio is a very, very good cook. Ah, here he is. The spice man himself. <laughs> Would you like to smell my spice blend? Psych is actually tranquilizer fumes <laughs> and just steals all the fish and runs off. Okay, so he's smelling the fish this time. Yep, smells another good one. From what I remember, as far as smelling fish goes, it shouldn't smell what we would consider as fishy. A flesh fish shouldn't have an odour to it. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yum yum. I always kind of wanted to try smoked fish. Here's a better question. Why are they doing this all in an abandoned warehouse? <laughs> I don't know. Just get it right there on location, mate. Oh, yeah. I suppose it does still have all the fish boxes over there. And this is that's where they store them after they're done with them. Yeah. Can I take this fish home? <laughs> <laughs> Ten years? I don't have that long. <laughs> oh lordy! Did we ever Joey bring up like dropping them knowledge bombs? Do we ever bring up who voices Soma's dad? I don't think we did. No, I don't think we did either. Uh, I will look this up. All right, you go for it. <laughs> oh god, Rio's looking intense. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is he not? Hmm. 
<laughs> At that moment, Soma finally realized the gravity of the situation he was in. Ah, uh, yes, Jun, the woman who is apparently in her mid-thirties but looks like she attends the actual school itself. <laughs> indeed, mate, indeed. Let's have a look here. Uh, Ricky Okoyama plays um, Soma's dad. Let's see if there's anything here that I recognise him in. Uh, he was Dr. Proctor in the Pokemon uh, anime. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm... No, not. He's the equivalent of the damn two can in that American adverts for Fruit Loop. <laughs> I follow my snout. It's never in doubt. Basically. He's Wolverine and Logan in a bunch of Marvel anime stuff. <laughs> Saber Two said the audience he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sea King in uh, One, Ch One Punch Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Neat. Neat indeed. And in uh, Digimon Universe at Monsters, he was Dante Mon. Never heard of that Digimon. That's all I got. Oh, fair enough. They are peons. Piss beneath my boots on a hot summer's day. <laughs> Please speak directly into the microphone. His sheer energy turned it off. Oh, it's on. Uh-oh, he's gone full Bakugo. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that he's voiced by Bakugo as we are. <laughs> I mean, you might forget when you see Bakugo now, considering he's a whole lot calmer than he used to be. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Rio's a closet furry. <laughs> I mean, it was hardly a humiliation, you tied. <laughs> well, the only victory is a sure victory, mate. These ties sting more for these competitive types. <laughs> Enjoy my fish, Deku! <laughs> <laughs> we won't be able to afford a bus that won't break down or comes in a colour that's not puke brown. <laughs> ah, hmm. <laughs> or if he's just got that look on his face because he realizes he bought the wrong fish but is too embarrassed to own up to it <laughs> oh no this is a I don't know what this is it's not human that's for sure which is a good thing I meant to yeah, say we're not going into Futurama Iron Chef levels yet I, in these competitions I, I meant to say something like a pig but it just transferred to human for some reason I think I caught a glimpse of my reflection in the mirror he just can't help but reference the soil in green ah <laughs> That fish cost five thousand dollars. Right in it. Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> ah, but LSD. Oh, -ho. <laughs> we need to inject the fish with pure umami. <laughs> hmm. Look, Soma, you're not going to fit into that, no matter how hard you try, right? And you're never going to be Aquaman just by talking to a fish. <laughs> hmm. Ah, the smoke expert! Oh god, where the hell am I going? <sighs> Sometimes I forget. It's that type of anime. They don't care. It's shameless. Yep, I mean, it is heavy on the cheesecake, but it does provide the beef on the side. Well, yeah, it's a cooking anime, I would hope so. <laughs> I mean that figuratively and literally, of course. Mm. See, Soma's I'm got going the fishing at midnight. Soma's got the raw technique, but he doesn't really seem to excel in any other area, which is the problem. I think he could excel in any area at a chosen time by preparing for it. What is that, min maxing or whatever the term is? No, I like to think it's more like he respects yeah, that's <laughs> to the fit one. with the current competition. Yeah.
Yes, yes, you must trick their senses, befuddle their minds betwixt their nose and mouth. <laughs> he has the one thing Akira and Ryu doesn't have, a posse. <laughs> oh yeah? They work alone, but Soma, with the polar star dormitory, they are a team. Ha, Yogans. Nine days to age this fish in the finest way possible. Hmm. Who's got a time machine? Let's just do this quicker. Can we, I mean, it'll be simple. Just like they go up to the hyperbolic time. Hey, Mr. Pope, can you put this fish in there for a while? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Although, to be fair, if you put it in the time machine and then, like, traveled forward, it would still be the same age. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's not a case of time travel, but time dilation. Yep. Although it would be kind of funny if they tried to send a fish, like, a year into the future. It was just, like, mush. Yeah. <laughs> it's just bones. I found this liquid nitrogen under my bed. Ah, nice. <laughs> Oven don't fail me now. I'm going to take advantage of his wait time by taking a chair and watching it for three straight days. <laughs> you know, I was partly expecting him to try his hand at, like, fishing up the ingredients himself. Well, it stops being fresh once it's out of the water, so... Hmm. But are they perfect? Mm. Nice to remind us which is which, because apart from the smoke one, I wouldn't have been able to tell the <laughs> difference between the other two. Fish is fish to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's water! The secret ingredient was water! Ah, Laced with LSD! A bit of love. <laughs> well, that's a good job she's oblivious. Mm hmm. Give it a minute. It would like two episodes' time, it will kick in and there'll be a major flashback. <laughs> I like how they get, like, a full spread and he just gets a circle, like he's on some <laughs> Japanese game show. Right, well, it is the fucking Mike Wazowski of the cooking world. <laughs> Through sheer training, I have been able to levitate 20 fish at the same time. Ah, Jojo! <laughs> how many of these... He's actually deer just throwing fish at him. <laughs> how many of these can I throw at you in the stop time? The fact that you can see makes it all the more frightening. And, you know, since I've stopped time, the freshness is intact. <laughs> just de imagining Dio as a cook when it reaches the perfect age, you just get some word and then that's... <laughs> it's like, there, it's perfect. And why aren't you offering me any? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Age restrictions need not apply here, you know. <laughs> I like how she's more concerned with sake. I swear to God she did that deliberately. She like, had it all laid down. She's been waiting there for five hours, just <laughs> waiting for Soma to come through. <laughs> well, you know, he's going to walk down this corridor sooner or later. Where is that motherfucker? 
<laughs> Part of me feels like they're not actually there to buy fish, just spy on one another. You read my <laughs> fucking mind there, mate. I'm gonna make a fish sausage, it'll blow their fucking mind. I mean, you say that, but that is a perfectly legitimate thing one could do. I never said it wasn't legitimate, I just, it's a bit weird, you know? <laughs> this is where he goes forward, just like, alright, my theme is going to be Cajun. Mm-hmm. Alright, we got Blue a- damn balls all around. We got Akira, he's here. We got Rio, he's also here. And- Sam is here as well. Yeah, this fuck, whoever he is. <laughs> hey, it's that guy in the little circle in the newspaper. <laughs> I love him. It's my little circle pal. Ooh, all right. I mean, I'm sure I've said this before, but I'll say it again, but I do enjoy the pacing of this. They don't tend to mess around longer than they absolutely have to. No, it felt like this was the appropriate amount of build-up. You just know a lot of other animes out there would, like, take a couple of episodes to build up towards Soma's secret, as it were, before they actually jump back in. Mm-hmm. Uh, there he is. Giovanni's brother himself, voiced by Dio Brando. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> hmm? It's the Queen! Close enough. <laughs> She's so pale. She's actually a demon. The red eyes tell all. <laughs> Oh. I mean, the name should have given it away. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Are you going to summon an Atamarasu or whatever with those eyes? I think Richie will butcher me for that pronunciation, but never mind. He's not here. <laughs> <laughs> This is a first like for mother, me. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I was big surprised. <laughs> I shouldn't <laughs> laugh. I kind of like how she's not speaking with an accent, obviously, because she's from Denmark. Mm. But no, I mean, like, they didn't need to do that. They could have just had someone speaking Japanese normally, but, you know. Yeah, I think it's more just to say that she knows Japanese, but obviously it's not her first language, so a lot of her inflections are slow. All right, let's watch the ED just to get caught up again, and uh, we'll see what's what. <laughs> Soma, after losing the competition, opts to jump off the bridge and into the river. No, he's going to Midgar, mate. He's as hyped for the FF7 remake as we are. No, no, he's literally jumping into the river, and it will segue to it. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City! <laughs> You and your memes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot what the ED sounded like. Same here, actually. Part of me actually wonders if it's a new one. But I'm pretty sure we have listened to this one before, but it's just been so long. Yeah, this was definitely here last time. Just take a nap in a field, why not? <laughs> take a nap in a field with these radioactive flowers that turns people yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting all Kingdom Hearts up in this bitch now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Your remind is going on at the time we're recording this, actually. <laughs> I like so posing with him, just like, Markiplier's my dad now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the bite of 87. <laughs> Who says they aren't? <laughs> Just like, ah, I got this conga reel. It's as sharp as a samurai sword. Time for me to bring out my fish gun. Huh? I 
I'm highly confused. <laughs> All right, we're going to close that down. We're back in the game now, mate. So that was episode eight of the second season of Food Wars. What do you think? Uh, again, I thought the pacing was very, very good. We got to learn about actual fish, which is something near and dear to my heart, being a Devon lad who lives near the harbour. Oh, hell Obviously, yeah. we get a lot of that as well. Yeah. So it was nice to see a lot of the um, actual tales for fresh fish that I was actually familiar with and obviously they like to be very factual with their uh, food science and what have you so it's nice to see that that still continues mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna count us down into episode nine and uh, i think you were a little bit ahead of me that time so i'll try to be more on the ball here not your fault mine i'm getting used to syncing with you again here we go in three two one Alrighty, episode 9, I go, the Autumn Selection Grand Finale. So, we have two guys that have bought swordfish, and another guy that seems to have bought a wooden paddle. <laughs> it's okay, you know the wooden sword is the most powerful weapon in these things. He's going to scrape the rust off of it, and it's like reveal it to be the Master Sword or something like that. <laughs> the Master Mune, yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is the Crusagrim. <laughs> You used rust, didn't you? <laughs> I just coated it in dirt. I rolled about out in the mud outside. I just left it outside for five days. <laughs> Damn, even Akira's getting under the birds. They underestimate him. Yep. <laughs> I fear. It's not like Akira as well. I mean, I don't think of Akira to be the cocky sort, but there you go. It's just like, congratulations on becoming third. What, we take it off into the stratosphere? Is Kaiba's blimp gonna come down? In before torrential downpour. <laughs> oh, it's the moon. Do we have any Saiyans in the audience? If so, look away now. <laughs> oh, don't. It'll be more interesting that way. I mean, he still kept his promise. He tied. A tie technically isn't a loss. <laughs> yeah, well, we've discussed that sort of thinking, mate, so only the moon knows the outcome to this battle. <laughs> hmm. I'm not really Well, the moon better not give me any spoilers, or else I'm going to have to send Piccolo to have words. <laughs> Indeed, mate. Don't worry, I haven't looked up anything. I'm as in the dark as you are. I also noticed that Subaru's actually in, like, that big shot in the opening as well, where they're all sort of standing in a line, so I'm wondering if we'll be seeing more of him sooner rather than later. Hmm. Well, as you say, only the moon knows the answer, only but first moon. we got this competition to do. Indeed, right. Alright, so what are your predictions going in? Do you reckon Soma will take the gold and... Somebody else will get second and third, or do you reckon there'll Oof. be like a joint second situation going on? It's really too soon to tell, because these guys seem evenly matched. Well, that much was obviously when they had the freeway tie, I would say. So obviously Soma has protagonist powers. Yeah, so of course. You've got to take that into consideration. So I'm actually more curious about Akira versus Ryo than anything else. I'm just scanning the OP here to see if there's any clues. Well, I mean, Akira's at a disadvantage right away. He's using a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon yeah. sticks aren't sharp. <laughs> Is he going to use the power of egg to win? Well, I mean, Soma was using the shining finger earlier. <laughs> yes, he was, yeah. All right, here we go. Thankfully, the world did not pop out and stop the OP that time, so we're lucky. Indeed. I could have done it. I'm right here. <laughs> Please stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm saying, so I can plead blissful ignorance. <laughs>
Hmm. Again, it just looks like dirt to me. Maybe it's some kind of sausage coating. Shrimps, mushrooms, muzzles. Jesus fucking crap. I'm not going to get through this episode if you keep interjecting, lady. Tomatoes. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it was said so clearly compared to everything else. Yeah. Shit do be looking kind of fresh, though. Mm. Although if it were me, I would already have eaten all of those cherry tomatoes and there'd be none left to put in the soup. <laughs> yeah, I think you like those as snacks, don't you? I do, yes. It's always risky business whenever I do anything involving them, just because it's just like, all right, I'll use half for the food and I'll have half for now. <laughs> Nice. And then I actually eat two thirds for myself and I don't have enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, bless. I'm just holding it in there. Mmm, very cute you was. Ah, <laughs> yes. It's like, leave me alone, woman. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> he lost his freedom. <laughs> I bet they did it out of spite and they just wanted him out of their kitchen. <laughs> it's like, finally, we have a chance to get rid of him. This is the second anime I've watched this month where someone lost their freedom and became a slave. <laughs> I'll leave you to guess what the other one is. Oh, sweet Jesus. He it might take me a while. I have to admit, I'm not as brushed up on my anime current season what have you as I'd like to be. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. So, would he have won his freedom back, or does he have to try and win more than her in order to earn his freedom? Slavery is funny. It's like, no, I will literally tear your head off. <laughs> Is it some kind of magic rap? <laughs> <laughs> it's killing film, but at a whole other level. <laughs> Careful when he double wraps that shit, he can throw it into the sun and come out fine. <laughs> if he throw it into the sun, it'll come out the other side properly cooked. Mm hmm. It's going to wrap a Kira up in it and mummify him. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the rules don't say I can't use my opponents in the dish. <laughs> Just they're trying to, like, knife each other and take off bits of them to put in the dish. Mm. That's what you get for bringing cinnamon to a sword fight. Ah, yes. Yeah, wrapping shit up, hey. 
I don't know what. what yeah, he says that like wrapping things in plastic wrap isn't something like everyone has done in their lifetime. <laughs> it's such a rarity in this part of Japan. Okay, I swear that bandana keeps changing size depending on how dramatic it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be slightly bigger when his eyes need to be covered. Yeah. I mean, it seems very similar to how you would use parchment paper to, like, steam it inside, and then you just open up the bag and eat it from that. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> it's like, muzzles, fish, and more fish. These were the ingredients made to create the perfect fish chew, but Rio added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Conger eel. Oh, Lord. This is my stand, under the sea. Oh, uh, I love 11 slices in there, that's a neat touch. It's something I got into the habit of whenever I steam salmon, I'll just layer on lemon slices over the top as well. Oh, hell yeah, mate. I fucking poisoned it. Yes, the poison is especially nice. What's with, like, the Smooth Jazz JoJo remix going on <laughs> in the background? Yeah, check this shit out. It's five spice, motherfucker. Her butter. <laughs> the foundation upon which all great garlic bread is made, infused into fish. Oh, I see. He put it in, wrapped it up, and just let it melt naturally. Okay. Yep. I can't just have like this dramatic realization that he got <laughs> he got deer over there just casually eating the food, just like yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. Got a bit fire emblem here. Oh, she's suddenly she can speak Japanese properly. <laughs> yeah, well, I was gonna say she was doing that in the flashback. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that is a legitimate superpower. What the hell is he doing? Is he trying to summon hide a little something? <laughs> <laughs> Here, feel, taste. What up, woman? Shut up, I'm trying to enjoy my dinner! <laughs> Tits, pecs, and ocean together at last. <laughs> Tits, pecs, and Michael Phelps setting another new world record. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not impressed. I took my eyes out, actually. They're back in now, though. Care about the school, you fools. Mm. <laughs> the anti pasta. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the pasta that destroys all life. <laughs> I mean, c considering that Rio's dish was part Italian, calling it the ant. Well, it says anti pasto. I keep calling it anti pasta because it's just like it's anti Italian. I know. <laughs> I 
I gotta burn the shit out of it. <laughs> he turns around and just steers Rio with it. <laughs> it's like, that's what you get for smack talking me earlier. Oh. Oh my god, he used a blowtorch to transform it into an entirely different dish! <laughs> this is going beyond the limits of curing! Ultra Instinct Fish! Oh, but is such a thing even possible? Oh, there she goes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Please stop these dramatic zooms. One. <laughs> ah, Allspice, I knew it. I was right. Oh, well, technically, Allspice is meant to. <laughs> I'm Literally, not... only one spice. That is incredible. <laughs> I am not just one spice. I am five spies. I am five times as good as all of you. It is one. It is one spice, but it is also all the spice. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh, that, there's that pigeon again. You're throwing a lot of terms at me. I'm just paying attention to the pretty pictures at this point, honestly. Basically, think of it as fancy as soy sauce. Okay. It's just what they usually have when you um, get sushi. You have something to dip it into. Sometimes you just get regular soy sauce, but sometimes they'll serve something similar to that. You got it, right? In other words, this dish pones. <laughs> In other words, this dish is the shit. Oh, oh boy. god, it's Cloud Strife! <laughs> is it Cloud Strife or is he trying to channel his inner berserk? Why does Akira Taida remind me of Season 3 Cypher from, um, Castlevania? Yeah. yeah, I think we made the same mistake, mate, underestimating Akira. Mm. Well, then again, they also both underestimated Soma, so I get the feeling he'll be getting his ass bit right the hell back before this con contest is over. They do archery very, very differently in Japan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you can get, get, wrap this up. I gotta go wane somewhere else, you know. So well, hurry up, the moon's about to hit the goddamn earth and we want to take your dish before all humanity ends. Ah, I see. I love feels taking so long to get there, the moon sets, it's just like, sorry, you're too late. Can't say I'm familiar with this dish. What about you, Bob? <laughs> I 
Soma is like the grand master of teas. <laughs> And before he just starts to like spoon feed it to him and just take it away at the last minute. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> ho, ho. It's like, bitch, I was about to say that. <laughs> I'll, I'll let her have it. It's fine. She only be for this episode and maybe one more. <laughs> we are specifically from Hokkaido, yes. <laughs> and I'm instantly reminded of The Simpsons again. Um, I would like a phone book for Hokkaido, Japan. <laughs> Here you are. One phone book for Hokkaido, Japan. Thank you. May I please borrow your phone? Is it a local call? Yes. Proceeds to dial like 33 numbers. <laughs> and I, they, they just let the scene ride, and that's what makes it so funny. <laughs> Basically, I don't know shit about prepping fresh ingredients, so I cheated. I just tried many different things until I lucked into something that worked. <laughs> oh, those were pickles? I thought they were sausages. I thought so too, to be honest with you. He thought they were sausages. Ha, what a fool. It is the God Sword, Excalibur! Ooh, I like that, the Autumn Sword. And the crowd is behind him again. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty hot right now. All right. No result yet, either. Ooh. Well, watch the ED again. We can't skip, otherwise we'll be desynced. It's not like casual anime watching time. No, not at all. We take it very seriously here. Yes. Sort of. Have you played the uh, FF7 demo mode? I'm not. I am actually conserving everything until the release date. I don't really feel the need to buy the demo because I know I'm going to be buying the game anyway. Okay, man. Like, that was a given from when it was announced initially. I think you will enjoy it a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I'm... I have no doubts that I will. Mm -hmm. Like, all the screenshots of what have you I've seen, they look... Oh, it looks so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why we've got a long preview coming up for this one as well, so who knows, maybe it'll tease the result deliberating a little bit for us. Indeed. Yeah. Ah, it's a different person this time. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, is this where Soma puts all the dead bodies after he defeats them in a cooking contest? Yeah, he just sends their ass <laughs> to the Shadow Realm. No, he just- he puts them with the flowers to turn them into compost. Oh. <laughs> it's like Akira's next. It's like I His curry spices will fragrance the flowers. I use them in my dish. In a way, it's like they're letting themselves down all over again. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Not bare chested, but maybe a delayed reaction. Wait, if he says bare chested, can they see when all the clothes rip off as well? Apparently. Oh no. It's a good job. I like how they're already doubting him just because he's standing there and hasn't reacted at all. I'll give it a second. This am. Oh, snap! A trump card! Yeah, there was a little something missing. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Alright, oh. close that down. Good shit. Whew! 
Well, I think before we deliberate this one, we should probably just go straight into the other one, since it's a direct continuation, as it were. Indeed, mate. Things are resting on the Autumn Blade's knife blade. Sorry, the metaphor the failed. The true edge. Yes, the true <laughs> edge. Thank you. All right, episode 10. You ready? I'm ready. Let's finish off this batch in three, two, one. All righty. We have had a taste of the soul edge of this particular dish. Now he's about to break out the soul caliber. <laughs> yeah, I imagine the moon would be out, you know. Slacking the hype flare right now. <laughs> oh, I see. Look at these fucking dark hunters. <laughs> Take your rare card, It's like Shin Megami Tensei all of a sudden. <laughs> Behold my demons! You're talking a lot of shit for a guy who doesn't wear pants in his own house. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Soma's reaction is just like, bitch, what did you just say? <laughs> you have no idea. You will have nom nom seconds, and I'll pour a little bit of this on. Oh, is that exchange after the conclusion of this? Possibly. Huh. Is it just white sauce? <laughs> and before it actually is just a bechamel. <laughs> yeah. But then again, it has garlic in it. You can't exactly go wrong. <laughs> Once more with the OP to see how this thrilling battle concludes. Yes! <laughs> I can imagine Akira in that in, uh, in that intro just slowly putting the cinnamon stick closer to his nose and like by the end of the opie in the second season it's just literally up his nostril <laughs> oh man that's the way to get the true sensation <laughs> cinnamon brain injection there you go there you go that's his ultimate attack <laughs> Mm, he summons power to the disco ball and gives him one of these. <laughs> Alright, so what is the what is the secret behind this white sauce? Alright then. Let's go, lad. Put it in my dish. <laughs> Salty much? <laughs> Huh. It's like two dishes in one. Is that cheating? Technically, no. Ah, translator notes. Gohan means rice. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sweet Jesus. He sounds exactly like Heihachi Mishima there at that moment. <laughs> Did we deduce, like, that is his VA? It may well have been, but I don't remember, honestly. If you want to look it up, go right on. Alright, you keep me informed of what's going on. Soy milk, eh? Broth is the very definition of Umami. I 
Oh yes, more hexagons and letters. We know we mean business. <laughs> oh shit, science, bitch. Oh, he was ah, king- the plums make a comeback. He was King Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. Ah, okay. Yeah. Captain Blue in Beautiful Joe. Yeah, I can see it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Parmesan. That's something I wasn't expecting. Oh, fucking course. He was Darby in um, Stardust Crusaders. Ah, go ahead, Mr. Joster. Open the game. (laughs) Aw, how wholesome. Hmm. Yeah, he kind of didn't really make things easy for himself from the get-go, honestly. Like, no, mm, he's too good. I reject him. <laughs> His father told me something once. Why are you naked in my kitchen? <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Ninety-nine. The number of times he has lost. Every time he gains a new loss, his dad has to buy over a new shirt. <laughs> Could you please at least put down a tarp or something if you're going to sit my ass <laughs> naked on my chair? It's going to take me years to disinfect that chair. I mean, seriously, there's a virus going around right now. It's okay. I used... You don't want to know what I did to my ass before I came in here, okay? The virus that shall not be named cannot be contracted through the ass cheeks. At least I don't think it can. But what if they clap? <laughs> By God, what if they clap? <laughs> oh no, we got to want every dummy fit person not to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> if you're dummy fit, you can stay home from work. Fuck yes. If you're dummy fit, call in sick. No, Tom, you're not dummy fit, you're just dummy. Oh. <laughs> it won't work. Yeah. So was a bit of a prick. Mm. Don't like him. Yeah, I don't agree with his form of cooking. No. I'm guy on the right. I have no personality. Yeah, that's true. They're starting to see the true beast, the master at play. Ishiki's going full Phoenix right on this bitch. (laughs) Would you like thirds? (laughs) Oh, shit. So it seems quietly confident. Is she just going to look at right to if Sober ends up losing?
Okay. Like I said, Soma's cooking technique is his strongest attribute, really. His ability to adapt. To convert rusty fish into sweet, delicious food. If he declares it a tie again, <laughs> I swear to God. Ah, oh, there is a deciding factor. Hmm. Not sure if Cybus has that exactly. Hmm. That would be a Kira in my eyes. Hmm. It was me. I'm the winner. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, for f that is not. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, I wonder why they're giving him a flashback all of a sudden. Is he gonna die? Come with me, street urchin. I will teach you the way of spice. You look exactly the same age. It's like magic. She is a proud small mama. Indeed. But he really needs to stop mixing spices at 2am. Seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes a lad needs a midnight curry. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my uh, Akira domination. Hmm. I don't know, they might all receive a small flashback. You never know. So if that's just the rest of the episode, it's just like, it keeps going back in like more years. Well, I mean, we already had Rio's, and we kind of had Soma's as well. Yeah. So sort of everyone's had that moment for him. Yep, called it. Nicely done. Because his was the only dish that kind of showed Stuck off... Stuck with his originality, I suppose. Yeah, rather exactly. Rather his style of cooking. Yeah. Still have a ways to go, Soma. He does. And before he's just instantly expelled, you dare not come first in the contest, you... Kara hugged that woman immediately. Yes! yes! <laughs> hmm. That's the good shit. <laughs> the smell of cinnamon would cheer you up. Someone else, a depressed person, just has cinnamon sticks every which way. <laughs>
Yeah, don't get too arrogant. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Stop beating her up. He did the best he could. <laughs> oh, man, that means Soma broke his promise as well. <laughs> Dad's not going to be happy. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Dad, realistically, that's not feasible. <laughs> it's like, I lost you. I may as well taste the fruits of your work. <laughs> Give me your stuff, bitch. Why is he not trying to start a fight? <laughs> He says, whilst clearly enjoying himself. <laughs> oh, wow. So in the rankings it goes Akira, Soma, and the other dude then. And then they became good friends. Yes, that's who we need, a trio to rub up against each other until they're polished into shiny diamonds. Yes. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> yes, yes, very good, very good. Ah, oh, that's super. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Sit. I go just like. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't quite catch if Rio had the bronze or a silver medal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it said straight up second back there for Soma, so... Yeah. Uh-oh. I heard you lost. You are no longer my son. Heard you lost like a bitch, son. About that. It's just banter, mate. It's just banter. Yeah, it's at that moment where he found that he needs to uh, figure out his own style. Mm-hmm. Sometimes change seems like the thing you're already doing, but you've got to pursue it anyway. Mm-hmm. Should make the next part a lot more interesting. I feel yeah. like season three is probably going to be all about that development specifically. Although we're already at the ED and there's still like five minutes left. What the hell is this? <laughs> well, there's only three more episodes in this season after this, so it must be setting up something. 
Maybe so, although you'd think at this point you would think it would be already the end of the season. Yeah. Well, I suppose we'll find out before long. Yep. But um, Sober's style was a bit too rigid. And I, I can totally see why he didn't win. Because, like, Akira put himself into the dish. Sober made a perfectly good dish, but it's not any different from, like, a Michelin star type of meal, you know? It doesn't have that Thomas Keller appeal, as it were. I feel like it was more a case of Soma's always begun in improvising. Whenever he comes across a cooking style that he was never sure on or didn't know enough about, he always had that ability to go out and research into it and find some way to kind of create a suitable crutch in order to elevate him up to that equal level. But the mm. trouble is, he is an innovator and an improviser, but he doesn't have a unique style, as it were. No. He's more able to emulate and innovate his own styles in order to compensate for a lack of understanding in a certain specialty. Yep. All right, let's see. A few days later... That's kawaii as shit. <laughs> just in before she actually just put it on there just to cover her jugs. Inno dog, petite house. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> nah. I've tasted crap that was better, honestly. <laughs> We're shuffling it in. <laughs> I was going to say, actually. <laughs> Get the hobnobs. <laughs> it's <laughs> just like me was like you ain't slick it's kind of nice that they sort of <laughs> this is a side of Rio that I am not familiar with but I kind of like it yeah he's starting to open up now I like this trio <laughs> Dude's just like he made friends <laughs> aww Makes me wonder how their relationship is going to develop over the course. Like, is it going to be something that's just like, okay, we're now respected rivals, as it were, and then kind of move on to the next story? Or are they going to continue to flesh this out and help them all develop together? Even though Akira doesn't really need much, considering he's like already the top dog, mm -hmm. but he can be there to serve as like a reflection of what like the best should be. Indeed. I guess we'll find out soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, poor, poor, poor Zenji. <laughs> yeah, off he goes. Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think I heard about this, actually. There we go. Close that down. Ooh, work experience coming up, I think. Oh, the work experience arc. The most dangerous and deadly of all arcs. I worked at a magazine for mine. That was a long time ago. I can't remember what I ended up doing mine. I think I went to a hobby shop in the end. Well... Nothing to do with cooking on either end of our spectrums, really. So, that was episodes 8 to 10 of the second season of Food Wars, mate. What do you think? I think I was a little bit surprised by the outcome, but at the same time, I think it was going to be anyone other than Soma. It would have been Akira. I feel like Rio's still a little rough to be elevated to that position of the top, but he provides a good contrast between the normally calm and collected Akira, and then Soma sort of serves as that point in between where... Obviously, he's a little happy-go-lucky in a ways, 
and sometimes you have to wonder if he's really taking things serious, which obviously he is, but he never really gives that air off, obviously, until really push comes to shove. Indeed. But seeing him made up into a trio, it has promising potential going forward. I would like to see more of him, especially since Rio has sort of had another layer to his personality in like that five minute stint at the end there. And I kind of want to see more of that, I'm not going to lie. Indeed, this is a really interesting uh, development in like the character dynamics and whatnot, and a great end to the autumn selection. So, yeah, that's the end of um, our batch of Food Wars today. We'll see you next time for another lot, and uh, that'll conclude the second dish or second season of Food Wars, so that should be exciting. If you want your own TV comms, head to patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms, links in the description. You can commission your own stuff, but please be patient, we have a huge backlog, but it all helps HFC in the end. So help us out and get something in return. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.